Now, we talked about this request form. We need an SOP, as as you call it. Now, the request request form is you. That's what he it's said. It's kind of like who is going it's to it's get in touch with the regal? Um, um, simple operation. You know I mean? Operating procedure. What? Go ahead. Whoever sorry. gets in touch with Regan. Regan can get back pretty fast with his stuff. No, but I mean, like I said, we gave it to Sandy. Sandy said she was going to give it to you. And then after that, then she gave it to, you know, then she sent it out to we. Who needs to write what 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 happens with this request form? If it goes to you, if it goes to the trustees, or if it goes to the zoning board, Everybody has 30 days, even if they say, I'll look into it, that's a response. That, you know, it doesn't have to be the solution, it just has to be a response. Because we have things in the past that we've requested and just got lost. Right. So that's why we came up with this form. So who should write the procedure for the distribution and the acknowledgement of this form? I got a question. Didn't we kind of talk that the secretary is going to write up what we needed. He did. So Randy does. And it's going to say to who it's really going to. Yes. Correct. But everybody's getting it. So it doesn't really need, it goes to Sandy, right? Mm -hmm. And then Sandy just boomed everybody. But she didn't. That's what I mean. She said, she told me, she sent me the response that she was going to give it to Jeff, which wasn't the correct response. Mm -hmm. As we had talked about, it. now it may be her correct response. That's what I mean. Do we need to just explore her? Well, that's what I mean. Do we need? My to question is: Communicate with her was with with these forms. She distributes them to everyone: the trustees, the zoning inspector, the zoning board of appeals, and the zoning board. Is that what we're saying? But I have a question again. Do we have the authority ah, to even I mean. tell Sandy to do anything? The Sandy can say, hey, you're, it's not me. Don't tell me. That's the next question I have. Because the way she sounded, I'll give it to Jeff. Like we work for Jeff. We don't work for Jeff. <laughs> I tell people. Yeah, we don't work for Jeff. I don't. I said I have nothing to do with their exact decisions. So and don't ask me. We don't have there's some questions that the BCC asks, you know, what well, would well, we like here, Jeff, for some of this? You need something in here. And I go, yeah, we'd like to have this for help. But if you're going to come on to like send something and you want something done, don't put it all together. If you want something from me, send it to me. Well, and that's what I mean. But do you want us? That's, that's what I'm asking for. The operating procedure. If it if this addresses you, do we just send it to you? Yes, send it right to my office, and I just like anything else that comes down through there, I'll get on it in the morning, and I'll get all that email done. I'll you get there, Randy. Mm -hmm. Do we also send a copy to Sandy so she has a record? Because I would like, you know, we don't want this like under the table. Like well, I can send you a copy. This is for Hey folks, this is Todd Bosley, your Nimishill and Township Fiscal Officer. I've been my pleasure to serve you as your Township Trustee for many years and also as your Stark County Commissioner. Bringing this video to you tonight for your consideration. I'm not here to make any judgments. I played a snippet of the 2023 Nimishill and Township Board of Zoning Appeals. And I want to talk about the Zoning Appeals Board of Appeals for just a minute. Uh, the four guys on the left are impeccable. Why they haven't run for trustee yet, I don't know. This is an exceptional board. There's a new member. Um, you'll see him, and this is kind of the, the part of the video that I want you to focus on. Uh, we just heard about um, Tony Mucci, who is the far left. He explained uh, to the zoning inspector that he does not work for the zoning inspector. And he's absolutely right when he says that. These four guys have been on this board for a very long time. They're really quality people. I have nothing but respect for them. Our newest member, though, huh? I don't know. The jury's still out on him, I guess. And I like him as a person. But when I see the interaction that's about to play out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on video for you. I would like to thank my friend Jan, American Experience. You should check out his YouTube channel. 
he made the video. The video is a little bit wide, so I'm actually shooting this on my home computer with a with my cell phone, so you can kind of see what's going on. But it, I'm not going to say a whole lot more about it. I just want you to watch the end of this video, and I want you to watch the um, I I hate to call it sign language. We'll call it signals. We'll call it something. There's something going on. Uh, with the zoning inspector and the board member who is on the far right. His name is Kyle Fosnight. And I'm, I've watched this video, I probably watched this video at least 20 times trying to figure it out. I see the zoning inspector mouthing some words. And I see Kyle say, oh, I understand what's going on. But what I was most concerned about with this video is the abrupt ending now, all of these board members are paid by the taxpayers of Nimishone Township. When a board member goes to a meeting like this, he should be, he or she, that's all he's right now, but he or she should have the ability to be able to say, I have a problem. And the part that I'm focusing on in this video is there is a township business, which I'm making no judgment on, but one of the members is trying to voice his opinion that there may be a problem with what's going on at this business. And I am really troubled. Troubled would be the right word. I'm troubled by the way this video is shut down. Like this meeting comes to an abrupt end and I don't understand it. So I'm gonna post it. I'd like you to check out American Experience on YouTube. Uh, he does a great job recording these videos. He's very dedicated to it. Uh, I'm posting this for your knowledge as a taxpayer. Not here to cause trouble. Just asking why a Zoning Board of Appeals meeting gets shut down in this fashion this quickly and what's going on. Because these guys represent us. They're all quality. You'll hear even one of the members voice an objection where he says, hold on, he was just bringing up uh you know he was trying to talk and you cut him off and it just all kinds of in it kind of ends very quickly so watch uh just watch the video and see if you agree or disagree i'm interested in hearing your opinion here we go okay i have the video in position now uh, you may have to zoom in or watch this a couple different times to actually understand what's going on but watch the zoning inspector who appears to be sitting in the audience he has on the gray sweatshirt and the white hat and then notice the man on the far right who has on the black hat and the black hoodie. Here we go. There's a lot of reasons, yeah. I, I will contribute to that. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, I had this lady call me over on Broadway and they wanted to get uh, some kind of a <clears throat> permit to have, turn their backyard into a repair shop, a car repair shop, and and you know they're doing it anyhow down there. And I noticed that, I noticed they put up a big sign out in their front yard, and I don't know whether or not he's trying to expand that business under the you know the blankets here that we can't see what he's doing. But you might want to take a stroll down that way. Where at? Down, right across down the down goats. Yeah, down on goats right. No, yeah, down by the, the goats on the hill, but he's down past it a little bit. Right. On Broadway, right oh. pretty close to the cemetery. And oh, on the uh, west side? Yes, yeah. But I know oh, put up a sign. I mean, well, are we done, Joe? Are we waiting for a motion? Can we motion to adjourn? He was in the middle of this. Well, he had a question, but I. I but, I just no. wanted to bring it up that you know bring it up and, and, that they're doing some stuff down there. Maybe they shouldn't be going to the township. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need a second. Second to adjourn. You first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought he counted since he said so. Okay, sorry. That's right. It's been a long day. All right, Kyle. Yes. Green. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Green. Yes. Green. Yes. Green. Yes. Green. Yes. Green. yes. So in just full disclosure, this video took place about two weeks ago. Today is February 21st, and I'm shooting the video. Recently, we've had uh, some discussion and a group that's circulating a petition in our township uh, who is concerned about the end of Peach and Broadway, Peach Street and Broadway, and a complex that may be going up there that may contain a gas station. 
that may interrupt the uh, normal activities and lives of people in the Michelin Township. So this is a good example, if you are interested, about how this particular board is operating right now. And I mean zero disrespect to the four members that have been on there. Randy Lombardi, Pan Asinides, Mr. Mucci. I mean, there there are so many good, good people on this board. These guys are thinkers. If you want to have your shed built closer to a property line, they take the time, they come out to see what it looks like, and they say, if this was in my backyard, would I want that to happen? But when I saw how this meeting was abruptly ended, when I saw the language, the signs, the hand signs, the mouth gestures from the zoning inspector, who we heard earlier in the video, clearly said he's not the boss, he's not in control of this board. That's what the whole discussion was about. But then at the end of the meeting, the whole meeting gets shut down by the zoning inspector. I have a big problem with that, folks. And I think if you watch this, you're going to have a big problem with it, too. Nimish Hill and Township is a great place to live for many, many reasons. And we have had factions of boards come along who have done the wrong things, and they have been thrown out, voted out, and left. I think right now we have a faction that's playing in our township, with, it starts within the ranks of the trustees, and it goes down into some some of the other departments. And I'm concerned. I'm very concerned about some of the people who are currently employed by Nimishon Township and what their actual intentions are, and what they believe their power or status to be. We're going to get into a meeting coming up here soon about this uh, Louisville rezoning. We're going to talk about. Um, future uh, endeavors that the city of Louisville may want to make where they will try to take more township land or they'll try to convert township land into city use land and every time that happens Nimishon Township loses taxes mo tax money we lose our ability to uh, rule and govern and it just becomes more problematic as we go along watch this video see what I'm talking about Watch these two right here, these two guys on the end, and tell me if you think that's fair and impartial, if you think that board was able to hear what it needed to hear. Maybe some of you will think that it's okay for a zoning inspector to shut down a board meeting in collusion with one of the other board members, and maybe some of you won't. But I can tell you that the four board members who have been on this board for a very long time they're respected men, they're good men, and they're concerned about our township. And when I saw this whole hocus pocus thing going on, it really made me concerned. So I hope you'll consider it. This is one of many videos that I'm going to be bringing you. I actually also think that we have a gang, <laughs> which sounds kind of funny, but we have a gang operating within our township. It's a group of people uh, who are held together together. Um, by higher standards from one of our trustees and that particular trustee has worked very hard to bring on people that only share that particular trustees ideas and if not uh, they are discarded and made to go away uh, this is an, this will be another video down the road that I'll be pointing out I have many videos that I'm going to be making because once the board of trustees stopped recording all of the meetings I went out and bought a tripod and a camera, and I started filming all of these videos so you as the taxpayer could see what was going on. If you go on to my YouTube channel, it's called Todd Bosley's World Famous, you'll see many videos of past meetings so you can get the whole story and see everything that's going on. But watch this meeting. Watch it maybe even more than once. Tell me what you think. Write a comment. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was terrible. This can't go on. But if this is the kind of board, if this is the kind of discussion we want to have, then we all have to question ourselves about whether this is fair for us as a community and say, is this what we want for our children? Folks, thanks for watching. I'm your fiscal officer, Todd Bosley, in Nimishone Township. My phone number is 330-323-9775. I welcome your call. 
you have any questions, I'm here to help you. I'm here to answer anything that you want. I'm also available for any public records requests that you may need. Todd Bosley, Nimishillen Township Fiscal Officer. Stay in tune, watch what's going on, and feel free to give me a call. Thanks for watching, folks, and be sure to check out all of our other videos. Have a great night. Bye-bye.